So, the pith. Get rid of that first. So the grain here is running that way and it doesn't feel too wet. The so next thing I'm going to take some bark off. Get it onto the wide flat side. Still a lot of bark there. Now that gives me a chance to have a look at the colour. And uh, next thing really is to take a, use that as the base uh, and come in across here and just see what's underneath the grain. So I need to take a, a slice off uh, just to see what's happening underneath. And while I'm doing that, I might as well, that looks fairly clean, so I'll just try and make it parallel to that. It's easier to take a wedge out, start in the thick bit. I find.
Right, so massive little splits there and there. Take another slice off. So the grain's running across there. Huge splits up in here. Lots of little holes. So um, if it's not borers, it'll be rot. So it's not very desirable. Um, but there's quite a nice little clean timber up in here. Now at this end, a lot of bark there, so I'm probably going to be better just taking a cut through there and we'll see what comes up with that. And I'm going to take another cut through there. bit off first Right, those long curly shavings coming off the saw means end grain. The saw will be blocked up if I don't get the dust on. And there's figure in there. Really just dithering. There's the main split there, so I'll cut on that. Little pinhole borers all over the place. Right, so that will be one little bowl, even though it has got borers in it. And I'm going to square this up to uh, so it can be an end grain piece. So.
little bit of bark. We'll look at that again in a minute. Some figure in here. trying to cut down so I get a reasonable amount of solid timber up at the top. The same at the other end. I want to square it up. It's where the rot is.
Uh, that's mostly too rotten. But these will be little beads. went through very easily there so that was where the rot is So that is all rubbish. These are all potential beads, which are wonderful practice uh, if you're just learning how to use the scoot chisel or gouge, or in fact doing, you're just new to turning anyway, and there's a little video on that. Um, the other ones we have, that can be either a bowl, or I could turn it into uh, some kind of big pot or maybe two pots going in that way and that would be end grain going in there or I can just have this with a uh, circle on it as a uh, which is probably the most likely one as uh, some kind of bowl or a little, little enclosed form of some sort and if I do that that's going to be end grain with we'll end grain there there's the grain elsewhere, and the grain, grain is going all over the place. Um, and then I can cut off another bit, and I've got another little bowl which might be in that side. And there's that one. That's definitely an end grain something or other. Vars or something. Uh, another little bowl or enclosed form. And uh, then the big one is end grain that way cross grain uh, cross grain and uh, that's more or less cross grain so the, the, that's really at the base of the branch so the grains are going all over the place but that will probably and there's some high figure quite high ripple figure there which would look quite good on the side of something or other so I think I've been inclined to make that into uh, an end grain pot or um, or enclosed form um, it'll probably appear in its own little video in due course so that's all we've got out of that enormous lump